everyone welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to link your survey data from google forms to excel so that you can automate your analysis so um when you have the survey google forms uh, mostly the data will go as uh, you can link it to google sheet so what happens is that you can also get your analysis from Google Forms, but then the analysis is kind of limited and you'll not be able to do cross tabulation. So first, uh, if you have your, your survey in the Google Forms, um, first what you need to do is to link it to sheet so you can view the data that is coming in. Uh, aside that too, you can also see responses and a quick uh, analysis of the responses. Uh, you will see that, but then if you want to do your analysis in Excel, that will allow you a lot of flexibility to cross tabulate and do a lot of analysis beyond just uh, the single questions that Google Forms will give you. So first, um, you need to link the data to sheets. So um, once you click here, you'll be able to create and then it will open up. Uh, you'll be able to view the data in Google Sheets. All right. So I have uh, a data here from this Google Forms survey. I uh, have 33 responses, so I want to link this data uh, into Excel so that anytime I will be monitoring the data from Excel rather than going to Google Sheet, and I can also even automate the analysis in Excel and I'll move to reporting. All right, so um, I have the data here. So what you need to go is to once you link it like we did here, uh, what you will need to do is just to view in Sheet. So once you click here to send you to Google Sheet. So um, for us to be able to connect the data to Excel, we need a URL. So you go to File, from File you go to Share, and then Publish to Web. So when you, when you click here, you'll be able to embed, get a link. So we need Excel, so we just click on Excel, and then we go down here and do some few settings. So um, you just publish, and then you'll be able to get the URL. So we have our URL here. So we we'll copy this URL and send it to Excel. So when you come to Excel, you go to data from data, get to data. So you can also just see this icon is web. So you can click here to get um, the link where you paste the URL. Or if you also want to you just go to get data from get data, other sources, then you click from web and paste your URL here. So, um, you, if you, if you want to sign in, you may have to sign in. If you want to kind of encrypt your, your data, you, you need to sign in. All right. So from here, we just move, we want to go anonymous. So we just click here and then it will open up, uh, the navigator in Power Query. So we have our form here where the responses are. So if you have more than one sheet, all the tables will appear here so you can select the one that you need so we have just one table here we can preview on the right hand side and also if we want we can just load this directly to excel uh, but uh, if you also want to transform the data we we'll open it in power query and uh, power query editor will open so here we can edit do a lot of transformation to the data so like this um, time span we can try to convert it to the date uh, and do some bit of analysis and just kind of look at how the data is like so once we do this um, we can load this to our query then uh, we add it to a data model and we can generate a pivot table reports so um, let's generate a pivot table report and then the in an exit new sheet so let's click here then we have our people table all right so here we can try to look at the number of respondents in the so we have the phone number we can use it as the unique id um and then we can count by this uh by count sort of sum this will give us the number of respondents in the survey we can also try to look at um let's set up our pivot table And we can paste this one and send it to. So our first question, we can try to look at the number of people who answered this question. Um, 
then we can filter this out and and that is it we can also even cross tablet if we have variables like gender and some other information that we need um so that's how you link data to power query so once you have um anytime data is syncing uh, what you do is that you just have to come to data and refresh so all the new submissions from your survey that are done we just come here and then we just refresh and get the data so you don't need to um, you don't need to go to google sheet and so on so this is how we link data to excel from our google form survey right